Welcome to the Joy of Music. My name is Diane Bish, and I would like to invite you to join us today as we take a very special musical journey on the Queen Mary II. Today, we visit churches, islands, and towns of the Caribbean. Come with us as we visit Tortola and St. Thomas on the Queen Mary II. Our water music program begins in Fort Lauderdale, where we play one of the great organs of the world, the 117-ranked Rufati organ of the Coral Ridge Presbyterian Church, with scenes from one of America's famous waterways, the Intracoastal Waterway, sparkling and vibrant in the Florida sunshine. Everglades in Fort Lauderdale. We board what appears to be the most giant vessel we have ever seen, and it is the Grand Queen Mary II.
Today, our water music journey takes place on the new Queen Mary II, the first ocean liner to be built in over three decades. The over 2,600 passenger vessel is the largest, longest, tallest, and most expensive passenger ship ever built at a cost of $800 million. Its offerings and amenities for its delighted passengers are really too many to list, but let me name just a few. The ship offers 10 dining rooms, the first and only planetarium at sea, the largest library, five indoor and outdoor swimming pools, and endless activities for children and adults alike, including, of course, fantastic shopping. On our Caribbean journey on the Queen Mary II, we arrive in Tortola, one of the British Virgin Islands. These islands had their start as far back as the year 100 BC. Over the centuries, there have been different owners of these islands, resulting finally under the British crown. Tortola, as the other Virgin Islands, is unique in character with pristine beaches, unique local crafts and picturesque in its buildings, landscapes, and crystal clear water.
In our musical journeys on the joy of music, we often visit great and historical cathedrals. But the service of worship and music also takes place in small village and island churches. On our waterway journey, we visit the beautiful St. George's Episcopal Church in Tortola. The history and records of the church have been destroyed several times by hurricanes, one in 1819 and the other in 1916. But it is very likely that the church was established by the British in 1672. It was a thrill for us to play the organ in St. George's. The church is vital and alive. And when the congregation sings, it is most thrilling. In our musical journey on the Queen Mary II, we visit St. Thomas, one of the larger of the 68 U.S. Virgin Islands. St. Thomas is not only an island paradise with beautiful beaches and terrain, but also is home to many friendly and warm people. It is also the home of many active churches. It was our pleasure to visit and make music in the Christ Church Methodist of St. Thomas.
It is a pleasure for us to visit today the Christ Church Methodist Church on the beautiful Caribbean island of St. Thomas. Methodism was first established on St. Thomas by laborers from neighboring islands who came in 1891 and not long after the first Methodist minister arrived. The Christ Church has been in existence for 92 years. Its motto is a church for the whole family, combining love for God and neighbor in joyous worship and Christian service. It is our pleasure to play the organ of the Christ Church Methodist Church in St. Thomas. From the shores of St. Thomas, we reflect on the beauty of the sea, the shore, and the sights of our musical journey in the Caribbean.
My name is Diane Bish, and I would like to thank you for joining us today on The Joy of Music, as we have brought you the second in a series of programs entitled Water Music, musical journeys on grand ships and waterways of the world. Today we have made our journey on the Queen Mary II to islands and towns of the Caribbean. Thank you for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you again next week on the joy of music. If you would like to purchase today's program, please visit our website at dianebishtv.com or call 1-800-933-4844.